Yeah. Aaron, clearly a, a tough loss. How do you kind of process what transpired there? Yeah, a tough one. Um, you know, there's, and you know, did a good job of getting back into it, and then uh, you know, putting putting a couple on the board there. We just couldn't finish it off today, um, and that's part of it. You're going to have you know, gut wrenching losses at, at difficult times of the season. That's part of it. We got to. We got to get through it, um, get on that plane, and get ready to go in Anaheim. What are you seeing from Tommy Canley? Oh, I, I mean, he's been great. Um, and then you know, walked the leadoff hitter that hurt him. Um, and then you know, he gets out of that inning. He gets McMahon to you know, just dribble one to third. So um, just not quite as sharp as he's been the whole time. But um, yeah, that was it. to see Clay give that up just because I didn't give him a home run 37 and a third. Yeah, I mean, you know, look, credit to Crone putting a great swing on it. Look, I mean, you know, not many people you'd rather have out there in that spot than, than Clay, you know, right on right in a big spot. And um, he got him, you know. So, you know, Clay's, I mean, obviously, you know, Clay's been tremendous for us. So, uh, you know, get back after it tomorrow. What happened with Marinaccio there? We, we ran out of pitch comms in the bullpen, and then so we need to run that out from from in there. So that was all. What about the conversation with him following the Peraza play at third? Yeah, he said I didn't uh, hold the clock in time, which is probably right. I was so we didn't have a great look at it and didn't think it was, but I wanted to challenge anyway, just being where we were in the game. Um, but I, I got to be more clear just in the moment of of stopping it. You've seen some crazy games in this ballpark. You played in this ballpark. Yeah, where does this one kind of rank? Well, I don't know. I mean, yeah, that's you always a lot of crazy games. You're right. Uh, I don't know where it ranks. Down low, we lost. What, what was Chase Anderson able to do today? Yeah, you know, <clears throat> he was able to get to the top of the zone with his four seam. You know, he used his cutter well. His cutter was a good pitch for him, especially behind in the count. Uh, he mixed in his change up as well. Um, it looked like we didn't get a lot of, you know, Pitches do a lot of damage with, but um, you know, and we had one really good opportunity against him. Claber hit a ball well to left, but but we weren't able to mount mount enough against him. You up getting a read on the ball. Uh, not yet. I mean, if, if it had, I, I don't have it yet. Kind of lost it at all is Garrett Cole and the performance he had just overall. Um, what did you think of him and 11 strikeouts? He now leads, yeah. you know, another another spot in history for him. Yeah, I mean, to get that record in, in as few games as he's been here, um, you know, just a, a you know, testament to a great pitcher, and, and I thought he was really good today. I thought he was really good with his fastball location, command of that pitch. Um, you know, he didn't make a lot of mistakes today. Um, and and I, I thought, with, especially with the fastball, I just thought he was really sharp. Rather, rather trying to tag up the third on that sack fly, is that right player just trying to make something happen there? Yeah, I mean, look, you don't want to make the third out of third. Um, it was vacated. I think he saw the, you know, unoccupied base there. Um, they did a good job of on, making a run, throw on the run to get him there. Um, so, you know, can't really kill the aggression there, especially when he saw it open. They made a play against him. Um, you know, typically, you know, you don't want to make that third out there third, but, uh, you know, they, they did a good job in that spot. Aaron, all season long, the organization has said that this is a championship caliber team. Mm -hmm. After losing two or three to the worst team in the National League, do you still believe that? Baseball, so Major League Baseball. <laughs> Save it with that question. The last, we got, we got two and a half months to be Put ourselves in a position to be championship caliber. We got to go, you know. It's on us. We got to go prove that. Uh, as far as who we're, Major League Baseball, you're gonna, you're gonna beat some good teams. You're gonna lose some series to some teams that are struggling. It's a grind every time you go out there and and put the put a Major League uniform on. So I don't buy into that garbage at all. Like they, you know, they outlasted us today, and you know we're obviously pissed off in the moment that you know we lost a series but it's a series that we lost and we got to move on from it and go um go go try and play well in, in california you guys have been through a lot this season uh, particularly offensively with the injuries and everything else in a frustrating season like that you've got a lot of veterans but in a frustrating season like that and then culminating in kind of a game like
like this after the All-Star break, the hitting coach kind of stuff. So where do you see you guys, you guys kind of um, vibe or morale with, these, with the group right now? Morale's fine. Morale's fine. And we got to look, it's on us. We, we know what's in front of us. We know the expectations on us. So, you know, we can talk about it. And everyone I know is going to talk about it. We got to go do it. And we've got the canvas in front of us to write our own our own script and um, that's what we're working hard to do. Well, Aaron Boone saying that they have two and a half months to live up to that championship caliber mandate that they've put on this team and it's been there and you've seen that since day one of spring training. But here we are in mid-July and the reality is that they did lose two out of three to the Rockies. Where would you assess where this team is at right now? You are what your record says you are, right? So you mentioned it earlier. The Yankees are 50 and 44, which equates to 86 wins in a 162 game season. When the Yankees left spring training in Tampa, there was no way they thought that they were an 86 win team. They thought they were much better than that. And by the way, 86 wins is unlikely to get you a wild card spot. Now, I know injuries factor into this, and we've talked about Judge, and we've talked about how the Yankees have had to weather injuries, but it's the style of play, and it's the way that you were playing and that's one of the things that Aaron Boone said in that answer to that question doesn't matter if it's the Rockies and they were the worst team in the National League it's Major League Baseball and everyone's going out there but it's the, it's the style of play Justin it's the mistakes that were made it's the absence of quality at bats early in this game the bullpen is going to get the focus but Canely and Holmes have actually been as good as you could be for the Yankees Canely hadn't allowed a run in the first 16 games he pitched and you look across the last 26 or 27 games and Holmes had only allowed two runs so it's just not clicking for the Yankees right now and we, we talked about this nine game stretch against the Rockies the Angels and the Royals you're thinking minimum seven and two I know the Yankees can't think that way but those of us who analyze the schedule in the games can think that way well starting off one and two has put you in a very tricky spot and it follows the pattern you think about their last road trip going out to Oakland St. Yeah. Louis going just three and three there against those two last place ball clubs then the game within the game we were talking about this afternoon afternoon maybe not the same quality of at bats that we did see last night in the middle game of this series you combine that with some spotty base running uh, late in the game and it all adds up to the final product here and here's why I think this is kind of a double or a triple gut punch because they waste the gem of a start from Cole but then after they waste it within the game they rally and Oswaldo Cabrera and Oswald Peraza who just got to Denver today come through and you are rejuvenating yourself and you have the potential to call this a win with the two Aussies getting the job done and then it's another gut punch because the Yankees couldn't close the deal with the 7-5 lead.